A very good morning to all. So in the last class, we started with a new chapter and the name of the chapter, What do animals eat? And we can classify animals based on its eating habits. Like animals which eat plants, we call them as herbivorous animal. And animals which eat other animals are called as carnivorous animals. And animals which eat both plants and animals are called as omnivorous animals. So today we are going to see about omnivorous animals. Omni is a Latin word which means all. And what about vorus? Vorus means eaters. All eaters. It means they eat both plants and animals. And there are many examples for animals which eat both plants and animals. You can see the example here. Bear, fox, peacock, sparrow. All these are examples for animals which eat both plants and animals. What about bear? What does it eat? It eats plants like fruits and even it eats fish. Fox, it eats fruits, vegetables and even it eats other animals like frog. Even peacock, peacock eats plant seeds and even it eats lizard, other insects and all. So omnivorous animals are animals which eat both plants and animals. Now let's see about the some other feeding habits. There are insects like the butterflies, honeybees, mosquitoes. Do we know what they feed? They feed on nectar. Even mosquitoes feed on nectar. The adult mosquitoes feed on nectar. When they need protein, they suck on the blood of human being or animals. So when they need protein, then only the mosquitoes feed or suck on the blood of animals or human beings. What about the dogs and cats? Most of you have pet dogs or cats in your home. So have you noticed them, have you observed them carefully? If you have observed them closely, have you seen how they drink their milk or water? They use their tongue to lap water or milk. They use their tongue to lap water and milk. So these are some other ways, some other, some other feeding habits of animals. Now let's see, all animals need water to live. We all know that animals are living things. They need air, water and food to live. And they live in a place where they get water and food. So where do they get water? Where do they drink water from? They drink water from the river, pond, lake, etc. So water is very much important for their survival also. And they also need water to live. So that is all about this chapter. So what did we learn in this chapter? We learned about the classification of animals based on their eating habits. So we can classify animals like animals which eat only plants are called as herbivorous animal and animals which eat other animals are called as carnivorous animals and animals which eat both plants and animals are called as omnivorous animals. Now let's move on to the exercise. Now you can take page number 31 in your textbook and let's start with the first exercise. You have five questions with options. So let's read out the question and discuss the answers. So the first question, cows are, we have options, herbivorous, carnivorous, gnawing animals, powerful hunters. So you can tick the right answer. The second one, bees and butterflies feed on leaves, nectar, insects, nuts. Moving on to the third one. Peacocks and fox eat only honey, only plants, only animals, plants and animals. The fourth one, carnivorous fish are no teeth, few teeth, blunt teeth, sharp teeth. And the last one, tigers, leopards and lions are omnivorous, carnivorous, herbivorous, 
both herbivorous and carnivorous. So hope you have done with the answers. So now let's see the answers. The first one, cows are. So cows are herbivorous animals. Animal that eat only plants. Next one, bees and butterflies feed on. What do they feed on? They feed on nectar. And what is nectar? Well, sweet liquid which is present on the flower. It is called as nectar. Third one, what is the answer for the third one? Peacocks and foxes eat. What do they eat? They eat both plants and animals. So the animals which eat both, and, both plants and animals, what do we call? We call them omnivorous animals. The fourth one, carnivorous fish have. What type of uh, teeth do they have? They have sharp teeth. So what is the meaning of blunt teeth? Blunt teeth means which is not sharp. But these sharks have, these carnivorous fish have sharp teeth teeth. The fifth one, tigers, leopards and lions, they are carnivorous animals. Animals which eat the flesh of other animals are called as carnivorous animals. Moving on to the second exercise, true or false statement. So we have uh, six sentences given. Tick for the statements which are true and cross for the statements which are false. So let's start with the first one. Some birds such as sparrows eat only plants. So we can tick the answer which is true and cross the answer which is false. Moving on to the second one. No animal eats both plants and animals. The third one. Bears and fox eat both plants and animals. Fourth one. All insects eat only plants. Fifth one, all snakes are carnivorous. And the last one, all wild animals are omnivorous. So now let's see the answers. So the first one, some birds such as sparrow eat only plants. So what is the answer? The answer is false. So sparrows eat both plants and animals. So that is why we call them omnivore. So the answer is false. Second one, no animal eat both plants and animals. So what is the answer? The answer is false. There are animals which eat both plants and animals and what do we call them? We call them omnivore. Moving on to the third one, bears and fox eat both plants and animals. So what is the answer? The answer is true. Fox and bear eat both plants and animals. The fourth one, all insects eat only plants. So is the answer yes, uh, true or false? Answer is false. There are insects which eat other insects. So in the class we learned dragonfly. Dragonfly eats mosquito. So there are insects which eat other insects also. So the answer is false. The fifth one, all snakes are carnivorous. What is the answer? The answer is true. The last one, all wild animals are omnivorous. You all know what is an omnivore. Animal which eat both plants and animals. So all wild animals are omnivore? No, there are, herb there are carnivorous animals also. Animals which eat the flesh of other animals. Even there are herbivore animals, animals which eat plants. So all wild animals are not omnivores. Moving on to the third exercise. Answer the following questions. So let's start with the first question. Name three herbivorous animals. So there are many examples for herbivorous animals. So you can write the answer as cows, Rabbits and yaks are herbivorous animals. What are animals such as wolf that eat only other animals called? So animals which eat other animals, what do we call them? We call them carnivorous. So animals that eat only other animals are called carnivorous animals. The third one. Describe the legs of a carnivorous animal. So, we learned that 
Their, their mouth parts, they have a sharp teeth, good eyesight, and even they have a strong and sharp claws. So why do they need a strong and sharp claws? In order to hold the animal tightly while hunting. So the answer you can write it as a carnivorous animal has strong limbs with sharp claws. Then the fourth one, why are sparrows called omnivores? So when do we call an animal omnivore? When it eats both plants and animals. So why are sparrows called omnivore? So the answer is clear. The sparrow eats both plants and animals. So you can write the answer as sparrows eat plant seeds and insects. So they are called omnivores. The fifth one, from where do animals get water? We, we learned that animals need water to live. They live in a place where they get water and food. So from where do animals get water? Animals get water from puddles, ponds, rivers and lakes. You know what is the meaning of puddles? It is a water pool which is full of muddy and dirty water. That is called puddles. Moving on to the next exercise, the fourth exercise. You have to answer the following questions in two or more sentences. The first question, why does a cow not have a sharp claws like a tiger? We know that tigers have sharp claws in order to hold the animal tightly while hunting. But these cows have no sharp claws. So the question is, why does a cow not have sharp claws like a tiger? So what is the answer? Cow is a herbivorous and eats only plants. So cow is a herbivorous animal which eats only plants. Hence, they do not have a sharp claws like that of a tiger. Moving on to the second one. Why is the ladybird beetle called the farmer's friend? Ladybird beetles live on plants and eat insects which feed on plants. So it is called as the farmer's friend. Moving on to the third one. Why do sharks have sharp teeth? We learned that shark is a carnivorous animal and it has its uh, feed on other fish and they have a sharp teeth. And why do they have a sharp teeth? Sharks eat other fish. They eat other fish. So they have a sharp teeth. They are very powerful hunters and they kill other fish. Moving on to the fourth one. What do peacocks eat? So we know that, we learned that peacocks are omnivore. They eat both plants and animals. So see the answer. Peacocks eat plant seeds and animals such as snakes and lizards. So hence it is called as omnivorous. So it eats both plants and animals. So we have discussed the question answers. What you have to do is you have to write it down in your notebook along with the questions with proper date. Coming to the next page, page number 33. So there is a thinking question where we can think over. So the question is, do you think ants are omnivorous? And what do they eat? So you all know what is an omnivorous animal. Animal which eat both plants and animals are called as omnivorous animals. So what is the question here? The question here is, do you think ants are omnivorous? Do you think ants are omnivorous? Actually, they eat everything which is around them and they are omnivorous. They even eat other insects. They even eat grains, plant seeds. They even eat grains, fruits, etc. So ants are omnivorous. They eat everything which is around them. Moving on to the next one. You have to read and then answer the following questions. So let's read the statement first. Animals live where they get the type of food they need and sufficient water to drink. The temperature of the place also must be favorable. Such a place is their home. So based on that, we have two questions and we are going to discuss the answers for that questions. So let's see the first one. Do you think animals can live 
in any kind of place. Do you think animals can live in any kind of place? No. Animals live in a place where they get food and water. Even the right temperature should be favorable for them. So animals cannot live in any place. They live in a place where they get proper food and water and the temperature should be favorable for them to live there. So then only animals live in a place. Coming to the second question. Do you think we must not damage the place where animals live? So what is the answer? So the answer is true. We should not, we must not damage the place where the animals live. If we damage that place where the animals live, what happens? It affects their well-being. And it is not right to damage the place where they live. Next is an activity question. So let's read the question first. Minku, the monkey, is hosting a party. So who is Minku? The monkey. She has invited Sheru, the tiger, Balu, the bear, Slimmy, the snake, Giro, the gorilla, Hathi, the elephant, Proudy, the peacock. What should Minku serve each of her friends? So choose from the list. So below that you can see the list of food, list of food items given. And below that you can see the names of animals. And each of them eats different things. And you have to classify them. So let's see the first one. Sheru. Who is Sheru? Sheru is the tiger. What do the tiger eats? He eats meat. So what do you have to write there? You can write there meat. And what about the second one? Balu. Balu is the bear. So bears are omnivorous animals. They eat both plants and animals. So what we can write there? So we can write there fish. Bear eats fish. So likewise, you can fill it for the rest of the animals. So there is snake, gorilla, peacock. They have to write the thing, write the food they eat. Moving on to the second activity. It is solving the puzzle. And there are questions. All these questions are based on what we have learned in this chapter. And you have to answer these questions questions. So see the first one. So let's solve one. Slide and are carnivorous. So which animal slide? Which animal slides? The snake. So snake is also a carnivorous animal. So the first one across. So you have to, you can write there snakes. So likewise you can do for the rest of the questions and solve this puzzle. The other one, the next one, is also a small activity that you can do. You can see different kinds of animals around us. And what you have to do is, you have to observe these animals carefully and see what it eats and how they move and where they live. And you can fill them in the box given. What you have to do? You have to select three or four animals. It depends on you. You have to select two or three animals. Then you have to observe what it eats, how it moves, where it lives. And you can fill them in the box given. So these activities you have to do. And once you have done it, you can upload this in Microsoft Teams in assignment. The way you have uploaded your answer sheets. So we are done with our third chapter. What was the chapter's name? What do animals eat? And we learned we classified animals based on its eating habits like herbivores, animals which eat only plants, carnivorous, animals which eat other animals and we learned about omnivorous, animals which eat both plants and animals. And we learned about some other feeding habits like the mosquitoes, honeybees which feed on nectar. So we'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.